Hi, this is Wiz. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, should I say. It's been more than two months since my last upload on YouTube. Got quite a lot of people asking me uh, what is happening, why you are not uploading anymore. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of you for caring about myself. That means really a lot for me. I think it's time for me to explain to you. <music> So basically two main things happened to me. The first one, the biggest one is I sold my house. Yes, that one. I sold my house uh, already a couple of months ago. We moved last week to a new location. When I do a house tour, even if it's an empty house tour, let's do it. <laughs> So basically this is the outside and I have to say that this parking place has seen quite a lot of cars starting from my white Audi A5 going to the A45 Mercedes AMG then the Audi S3 then I got the S5 then the Tesla Model S then the RS5 and now the e-tron S Sportback <laughs> all that in uh, eight years if you're wondering this is not my cat i didn't leave my cat here i actually have a small dog i don't have a cat but i do love cats and i think he loves me so let's move inside the house so this is a storage place and same here where i have all my garden stuff nothing interesting there Welcome to my future ex house. So this is a two floors house. And right when we enter, we got one room here. This was my older son room. Then you get this bathroom here. Ciao. And then moving on. It feels so strange now that it's all empty. I'm still running here because I didn't find a suitable path for running at my current location. So many memories here. You know, selling my house is kind of selling my cars. I get attached to them, I talk to my cars, I feel really connected, but I have no problem selling them and moving on. We're gonna build some things even better. I'll tell you more about it later. So let's go down. Here on the left, we have what we call the master room. It is not that big, but it was okay for us. And then the dressing here, we still didn't finish emptying because wife got quite a lot of stuff left here. <laughs> this was my younger son room. The best of all rooms in this house this was my office. My desk was right there. You could have seen it on some videos or on some Instagram posts. In this room, all the magic happened. All my video were edited here. And then the second bathroom. And here, what we called the home cinema room. 
because at the beginning, in the first few years, I had a beamer there projecting on this wall and then I replaced it with a 75 inch television. This is the technical room, I don't know how you call it in English, but where the, the washing machine was. And this is the place where we used to store stuff and our food. We still need to clean the house, obviously. We just moved last week. So there you go. I remember a few people asking me for uh, an house tour. I, I never wanted to do when I was living there, but now that it's sold and empty, I thought it was the right moment to do it. If I decided to sell this house that I loved so much, it is because obviously I've got some things better um, as a project. So we're gonna build a new house. We bought the field and uh, um, they should start building around the end of August, the end of this month. The house is gonna be ready hopefully by May or June next year, 2022. What we loved here was the landscape. It was so calm, people, people are really nice, but what I didn't really like was the, the weather, the, the temperature in winter time, and most of all, the snow a lot of snow and also to come here with the car it's a little bit complicated when it's snowing. So the challenge here was for me to be able to squeeze the equivalent of a, a two-floor house into a four rooms flat and we actually did it. I'm gonna show you my flat maybe later on another video, but actually I'm quite happy about what we've got, even if it's for one year only, it is really, really cool. This was one of the reasons why I wasn't that much active on socials, because moving a house requires quite a lot of time and energy. I felt for the time being, I should have concentrated myself more on this project. And the second reason, which is uh, unfortunately the most difficult one for me to accept, is that I just lost my job. I've been working for the last two years in a very small logistic and transport company and due to the actual uh, pandemic situation, I got a phone call from my boss, uh, it was on June 24th, and they notified me that I was basically fired. I'm still employed by uh, that company until the end of August, but then I will be unemployed. Yes, there's a hole there. <laughs> I stay positive because I am a positive person. I tend to see the positive side of everything. The reality is that I need to find a new job. At the end, I wasn't really happy working on a logistic company. I prefer working on a software company. Obviously, when this happened, uh, it really hit me very hard making me losing motivation to be on social because I thought at the time that I had more serious things to do. And if I have to be honest also, there is another reason why I uh, really got not motivated anymore by making YouTube video, is the poor audience on my videos. Lately, I've been spending quite a lot of time to edit, to shoot and edit videos. Just think about, for me, I'm not a full-time YouTuber, I'm not a professional filmmaker, so when I shoot a video, it takes me like a couple of hours to shoot the videos and then it can go from two to even four five hours to edit to get a 10 minutes video. And then you upload the video and you hope that people would uh, react positively, that people would engage with you, with the comments and the views, and you end up having like 1,000, 1,500 views. It can happen once, twice, but lately it was happening quite a lot. I start questioning myself. Maybe people doesn't like what I'm doing. Maybe I'm just losing my time making videos. I don't get any money out of it. When you get 
25k subscribers like I do. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. You don't get a lot of money out of it. So I'm doing this purely by passion. I decided to make a break and refocus and think about what I want to do. And then another sad consequence of me losing my job is that I had to cancel the car that I was about to get. I would have been driving this car right now uh, because I was able to make a good deal with my favorite dealership Amag Crissier here in Switzerland where they would uh, take back the uh, e-tron S uh, after only six months of ownership. As a reminder, I did a 12 month lease on that car and I would have driven this. I had to be realistic and uh, try to be careful uh, with the money. And the first thing I did literally after getting that call telling me that I was fired was to call my sales guy and saying that unfortunately I would not pick up the car. And during this last month where I also gave up a little bit on Instagram uh, for about one month, I realized that I do miss interacting with you. I like the kind of interaction I have on my posts or on uh, uh, friends that I follow and uh, I'm active on their comments section. I was basically missing that and I end up uh, feeling a little bit sad when uh, a new Audi would come or a new uh, car news and I wouldn't uh, share that on social media and discuss with audience. Uh, this absence made me also refocus on the way I want to use social media and especially Instagram. To be really honest, and I'm not proud of saying this, it happened in the past that I did sell a car just because my audience didn't like it. I mean, I respect everyone's opinion, but I learned that on things that I possess, that I buy, I need to listen only to myself and not get influenced by 18 years old people on Instagram that barely knows anything about cars. To make it short, I decided to come back on YouTube because this is what I like to do. It's a passion for me, it's a hobby. So uh, I'm really missing uh, driving cars, making videos and interacting with you. On Instagram, I've decided that I'm gonna interact only with people where I personally think that their comments helps me and are interesting. All other comments like uh, people putting emoji, throwing up because they don't like what I'm posting, I'm not gonna bother. One of the issues I had is that I felt obliged to answer to each and every comment. I don't have to. I can decide what comments I want to interact to. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video where I explained a little bit of my actual situation. Everything is gonna be fine. Actually, I'm very excited for the building of my new house. It's gonna take time and I know I'm gonna run into quite some issues, but it's gonna be really good. If you liked this house, you're gonna love the next one. And also talking about my job situation, I'm confident, I'm positive, things will happen. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more car related adventures and also follow me on Instagram if you like. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.